I'm gonna tell you five things that a lot of YouTubers don't know about YouTube, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So a lot of us are using YouTube all of the time. We're uploading videos all the time. We're in our comments, we're sharing stuff and all of that. However, there are some features that you are probably not using. Even if you're a pro YouTuber and you've been doing this for a long time, there's probably still something on this list that you are not using. The very first one in this list is collaboration playlists. What, you've never heard of collaboration playlists? Let me explain. For this demonstration, I'm gonna make a collaboration playlist with my brother D. I'll put a link to him down in the description below, but here's what you wanna do. You can create a new playlist, something that would make sense to your squad or whoever it is that you're wanting to collaborate with. Go into the playlist settings, click on collaborate, click the link and send it to your squad. You know what I mean by squad, right? Niminati, World Class Wrecking Crew, Team Unfiltered. From there, once they open the link from their account, they'll have the option to start adding to the playlist. That's all you gotta do. And the cool thing about this is it also gets added to their dropdown. So like, let's say they're uploading a video, just like if it was on their channel, they can add their video to that playlist that also happens to be on your channel. Now this can be extremely powerful if one, you're trying to group a bunch of channels together, or if you have a big channel or somebody in your squad has a big channel, then you can make some of these playlists that are relevant to the content that everybody in the squad makes. Let's say, for example, that you and your friends have a bunch of tech channels. Well, one of the things that you could do is you can make a handful of collaborative playlists that would go onto your home pages, and then you could put relevant videos. Let's say that every time somebody makes an iPhone video, it goes into one playlist. Everybody makes an Android video, it goes into another one. TVs, computers, and everything else tech, but you get the idea. In a nutshell, it's a way for everybody to send traffic back and forth, and it's a way to kind of force some user history into. If the playlists perform well, of course. Number two, let's say that you are a blogger of some kind, or you put out some type of written content on Medium or somewhere else. If you're making YouTube videos, especially if you're captioning those videos, I've actually got a link down below to a company that I use for captioning, but if you're captioning those videos, you can pull down your transcripts, reformat them a little bit, and convert them into written content. To do this, simply go to one of your videos, click the three dot menu and choose open transcript. From there, click on the transcript three dot menu and choose toggle timestamps. From there, you can copy that out and use it as a foundation for your blog update. But keep in mind, just to make it a unique piece of content, you'll definitely wanna change it up a little bit, you know, format it of course, but go and change some things around a little bit, especially if you're gonna be embedding your video there, because in most cases, you probably don't want the same exact words being said that are in the actual video. So, you know, change it up a little bit to make it a little bit more unique. Number three, Three, the auto subscribe link. The auto subscribe link essentially just turns the link into a subscribe button, which is pretty awesome. To use it, simply add the text that's on the screen right now to the very end of your channel URL. And to grab your channel URL, you'll wanna to go to your channel page and that link at the very top, you'll wanna to add it to the very end of that. Easy peasy, but make sure that you test it just to make sure that that pop-up happens. And if you see that pop-up, then you're gonna know that you got it right. The next one on the list is pinned comments. Now, a lot of people don't use the pinned comments and I don't know why. Pinned comments are amazing for adding notes to your videos, adding corrections to your videos, adding links to for people to watch other videos. They're also great for asking questions. So if there's something that you want to know from your community, you can just ask it right there, pin that comment to the top of the list and boom, here comes more engagement. Whoa, that was close. I almost got hit by engagement. Ooh, gotta be careful out here. To pin a comment, simply go to any comment and hover over it. You'll see a three dot menu pop up, click that and choose pin. Yeah, it's that easy. Next up is highlighted comments. Now with highlighted comments, those are different than pinned comments. Highlighted comments bring attention to a specific comment. So let's say that you just published your video and somebody left a really good comment and you wanna make sure that you're answering people in mass instead of just focusing 10 minutes with one long comment on somebody's comment, which is a lot of comment commenting. A great way to work around this is just to highlight somebody's comments so that you can make sure that you come back to it so that you don't forget with all the comments that you're answering. For this, all you have to do is click on the time a comment was left and bam, you just moved it to the top of the comment list so you can make sure that you give it a great reply. Now, if you're into hidden features and stuff that you might not be using, that you should be using, if you're a live streamer, I'll have a video right up here that you need to check out that shows a bunch of stuff inside of Streamlabs OBS that a lot of people don't know exist. And if you wanna learn more about about growing your channel, making videos, and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.